Hey guys, I'm back after a two week hiatus. Uh, thank you guys for your patience just because I switched preceptors and I had to kind of try and figure out uh, my hours and get all that settled. So I'm back, I'm ready to do a video. And today I'm gonna to be talking about how uh, to be successful in clinicals because I'm doing it right now. So for those of you who don't know, I am in internal medicine and I start surgery in two weeks. So I am gonna start off with saying, make sure that you guys are on time. My own mantra is if you're not five minutes early, you're late. Um, and you wanna make sure that you beat the residents there, you wanna make sure that you beat the attendings there, and of course, there's gonna be other med medical students with you as well. So we usually round about eight or 9 a.m. in the morning. Um, it changes every day, um, but I would usually get there at seven or even 6.30, 6.45 to make sure that I saw my patients that day, I would write my notes, and then I'd be ready to present in case I get prompted to, which has happened a lot lately. <laughs> So what my biggest thing, if we're rounding at eight, when rounding just means that you meet with your team, you talk about each patient, you go and you literally walk around the hospital to see all your patients, and then you write your patient notes again after seeing them. Um, so my biggest thing is you don't wanna be there at 7.45 and you round at eight because you don't have time to see your patients. So the biggest thing, be on time, be early. Like the earlier the better because there's always stuff to do. And I always say, if you're not with a patient or you're not doing notes or you're not with your team, you can always be studying. Um, just because our shelf exam is at the end of every core rotation. Um, you have an exam that you have to do that's worth 25% of your grade. So biggest thing, be on time. That's kind of a given, but just in, I wanted to do that first to get it out of the way. Next is dress professionally. I already talked about this in my last video very briefly and I will do a separate video on that as well, but I just wanna reiterate females, dresses not below, below the knee, not above the knee. Uh, make sure that your shirt's not too cut too low. Make sure that you um, are having slacks um, if you wanna wear those. Um, just, just be professional and I think that kinda is a given. But there are some students that I see from other schools that, that definitely kinda need that memo. So just be aware of that. Uh, and my biggest thing is don't wear heels. I mean, I'm 6'4", so I'm not gonna wear heels anyway, but people always have blisters. It's, they're in so much pain. You can just tell that they're ready to get those heels off. So I wear flats or like really nice uh, professional um, shoes that have like a little bit of heel that's kind of like a cushion so that's my biggest tip for fem for males sorry um you can wear slacks um there are a couple uh preceptors that don't mind you wearing like a polo uh, but make sure that uh, most attendings want you to wear a dress shirt and a tie next is be respectful there have been a couple incidences i don't know if they're raw students or not but they have kind of been um, not snippy, I don't know like the right word for it, but just kind of confrontational when if they're getting constructive criticism back, um, either through a resident or even an attending. So my biggest thing is the attendings are always right. The residents are always right. And you're just there to um, kind of pick up the pieces and just smile and nod. I mean, obviously you want to have an opinion and I've had um, ample time to give my input and what I would do next for the patient's progress and treatment. But again, if, if the residents um, kind of critique you, you kind of smile and say, okay, like, thanks, I'll work on it next time. But there have been incidences where med students kind of get their back up and they kind of explain their reasoning and just leave it. Like, this is a learning experience for us. This whole year is going to be a learning experience for us and for you guys if you're just finishing um, step one and entering third year. Just make sure that you guys are respectful, especially to your attending, because um, they, they are the ones that are grading you, but it's also they're the ones that have the experience that we don't. Um, my next tip is know your patients. I, my first service I was on, I had about 12 patients um, just to myself and the other med student I was with had another 12. So that was a lot of patients to, to just keep track of. So I would go super early. I would read about what happened overnight. I would do my notes and I'd be ready to present. On this service, I get about one or two patients because they're a little bit more complex. I'm on internal medicine service where I do overnights and I do, um, short calls as well like 7 a.m to 3 p.m so they're more icu patients um so biggest thing is know your patients if anything that has happened overnight whether vitals or um there's a nursing note the nursing notes are actually really helpful because they kind of talk about behaviorally what's happening with the patient and what if they had to change meds or any big significant events overnight so know your patients. If you, if you get prompted on anything, you should know all their numbers for that day and the previous numbers um, for that yesterday morning or that night before. Um, biggest tip is EMR, so that's the electronic medical records. We use Cerner, um, which is, used to be like eTenet or something like that. So I downloaded that program on my laptop and my tablet. Dumb. I love you. Sorry, that's my dog and she's chewing like the loudest bone of life. Um, so <laughs> what I would do is I download it on my computer. So at night before I go to bed, because 
I like love my patients like so much that I would read about them and make sure that they're doing okay or if I kind of saw something that was a little bit off or or and the residents kind of didn't pick it up which they usually do because my residents are awesome I would just send maybe send a quick text or, or just kind of uh, communicate that so that saved me a lot and even on my uh, commute which is only like five minute drive but if my husband drove me that day I would just quickly pull it up on my laptop or, or tablet and just kind of read through to see any any events that happened later that earlier that day sorry sorry I can tell that I just got off like a call um, so my biggest thing is know your patients and study when you can in between patients if you can uh, just because that shelf exam does creep up on you um, and that's what I'm learning is it's more so the asynchronous learning with clinicals coming back reading your notes and studying like that and then going back into the hospital the next day um, last thing is do the little things it's the little things honestly that matter day to day like if opening the door and letting the attending go first and then the residents and then the medical students um, I know that seems kind of rudimentary right now and it's you probably think that chivalry is dead but honestly I open my door I open the door and I let the attendant go first all the time to the patient's room if we use the stairs I always open the door I let everyone go first and then I go last because with my long legs I can catch up pretty quickly um, but it's the little things I mean there was a fourth semester that told me that in surgery because I have surgery next is you know before the whole team goes down go down check the wound undress it um, and wait there and be ready for your attending to come down. He'll come down, see that you've already undressed the wound. He would absolutely love you, and then he, and then um, after he's done assess, um, assessing it, he'll be like, okay, I'll let me just wrap this up real quick. But then you can be like, you know what? I already know how it's already done. I can I can wrap it up for you, and then I'll meet up with you guys in 10 minutes. And it's the little things like that, like going early, checking the wound, checking on your patient. Um, there was one other incident where there was a there was a doctor that would come in and always look for like a tongue depressor and she could never find a tongue depressor so a med student put like a 15 tongue depressors in his pocket so every time she was like frantic looking for one he'd have one in his pocket and ready to go so it's the little things that matter and if you pick on up if you pick up every preceptor's idiosyncrasies um, and kind of mannerisms and what they like that will save you a ton of time so my preceptor right now is very very particular in how to present um, so what I would do is I go early, I would make sure I tick all the boxes of what he wants specifically to present, uh, how he would like to be presented to, and I'd practice. And I only present for 30 seconds because there's really no acute events overnight, but knowing and having it succinct like that, ready to go, the residents understand that I know my patient very well, and he understands that I took the time to really dive through every single note that the nurses did or any vitals or anything like that so it's the little things guys that will help you can do the big things you can try and be a gunner they call them gunners of med students that try and answer every question and they're so excited that's awesome if that's the, your type of learning then great i'm not like that um, i'd rather do a whole bunch of little things very well than a couple big things kind of half-assed um sorry for the language but that's just how i how i live my life and that's how um, i've been so successful in medical school and hopefully on the wards as well so um i hope this helps and i know i say that after every single video because i'm getting amazing feedback from you guys that you like the videos and i want to say thanks and i've had like the nicest messages ever and the nicest emails um you guys know that i do youtube not for the money <laughs> i think i make like four cents on a video I really don't care I do it for you because I remember applying to Frost and there wasn't a lot of information about it um, through students um, and so I just want to get back to you guys and know that I'm always here and I'm always available for any questions and helping you through the process and I'm off to now study and I'll see you guys later bye